This is a rare sight in Kashmir. Band butter, the art of Kashmiri street performance, is a tradition that goes back centuries. But for most people in this crowd, this is one of the few times they've ever seen a performance. For performers like Manzoor al-Haq, practicing alone is how he usually keeps in touch with the art form. King. Mm. Antiques like this 250-year-old costume and old photographs of past performances are reminders of what Ban Patar was like at its peak. This was the only mode of communication. Messages from one part of the region would be given to another part, in villages, on the streets, in palaces. Theatre was the only mode of communication. Now the world has changed. There are a lot of ways to communicate. And these ways to communicate have gradually led to these performances becoming more and more infrequent. The spread of radio and television is what first triggered the decline of Ban Patar in the past few decades, with mobile phones and social media further eroding its prominence in spreading social messages. But these performers are not willing to let their art form fade away. <laughs> Classes like these try to keep Ban Patar alive. People are very happy to see we are performing art. My grandfather and uncle are doing this. I am doing it too. The instructors here say they're also teaching students the art form's importance to Kashmir's history, having started with Hindu performers and continuing when Islam came to the region centuries later. Ban Patar is secular. Bant Pathir is secular. People want to watch it, but don't get the opportunity. It plays a role of the media, highlighting the wrongdoings of the people and politics in a humorous manner. Even when Kashmir has seen bad times, we've performed all over Kashmir. These days, most practitioners perform only at cultural events and sometimes weddings. al Haq himself believes the art form will never die out. As he says, Ban Patar will end only when the world does. Fez Jamil, Al Jazeera, Vatara, Indian administered Kashmir.